welcome back to another video today it's a little bit of a different one i just really fancy doing like a fashiony style video um also apologies in advance but there's loads going on today outside my window people were like moving so it's all like moving van so if you hear anything please do ignore it um but yeah so as you can see by the title of the video i'm just going to be showing you guys some of my favorite coats and jackets this season i love watching videos like this this time of year because it gives me inspiration so hopefully it can do the same for you um i am having to crouch down slightly um and i'm not even tall but it's because my tripod is literally not the greatest so it's not very high um but you know i will deal with it but i yeah i'm basically just going to show you my jackets so i have eight that i'm going to show you um as you can see they're all here the majority are like cream and beige and then I've got a couple of black ones and we've got grey and we've got a pink which I'm going to save to last because it's my favourite coat that I've ever owned ever in my life so you know save the best till last. I'm going to start off this end and work my way down. Um, I'm literally just dressed in a black jumper and leggings so it will go with everything. This first one I love. I got this last year and it's from Pramark. I'm just going to tuck my sleeves in because my sleeves are really, really long on this jumper. So I'll just tuck those in so you get the full effect. Um, but yeah, so this one is from Pramark last year. I don't know why I've come so far back. I guess I just want you guys to see it. But I love this jacket. It is so warm. Um, it's like a, it's kind of like Teddy, but it's a weirder version. Um, but I do really, really like this coat. I actually think it's one of my favourites. I say that about every single coat just because I'm a coat queen. I love coats, jumpers, cardigans, jackets, everything. Um, anything that's soft, I love. But I'll show you it done up. I never really wear it done up unless it's like freezing. Then obviously I'll wear it done up. As you can see, it keeps you nice and warm. But yeah, I absolutely love this coat. I did get it oversized. I think it's like a medium um but yeah i love this and it was only i want to say 20 pound last year but they have actually still got these coats in i've seen them and i do have it in black as well but i'll show you that when we get to the black section love this coat so much i just feel really like comfy in it so this next one is actually a first impression because i ordered it a while ago haven't tried it on and I thought, I'm doing a coats video, so why not try it on for the first time in the video? So you guys can get my reaction. But it is this beautiful cream fur puffer coat. And it is massively oversized. Um, I actually saw this on Becca Kerridge. Shout out to you, Bex. I love this. It is literally huge. Like, when they say oversized, they ain't playing. It's huge. And you've got... A gorgeous fur hood and this is still on the website so i will try and link everything below but if i can't link it i'll put similar or i'll just say to you guys i can't find it but obviously the primark ones i can't link those but i might i'll try and find like a similar coat somewhere else for like a similar price um even though it's going to be hard because you know primark is saving the dollar i'll definitely be keeping it because i really wanted like a nice cream puffer coat with a little fur situation because i just think that's so cute and obviously it's faux fur but for faux fur you know like, i don't like really cheap fur fur faux fur because it just feels awful but this is a really really good quality one I'm trying to see if you guys can see how long this goes but it literally just goes past your bum let me try and jump Ooh. i don't know if that works love this one definitely gonna be a new favorite even though we are in lockdown now so i don't know where i'm gonna be wearing it to maybe to tesco's that'd be a good idea from plt it was how much was this coat can't remember but i'll link it below but it wasn't that much and i actually got a discount code as well so it's good because i don't like spending too much money on coats unless it's like do you know what i mean because you can get cheaper options um but yeah i really love this just a nice little 
Oh my god, it's got marks on it. That was not me because I have not put this on yet. Okay, so next we have a coat that I know that you've all seen before in like three of my videos in September. Um, but I got this one for Christmas, not for Christmas, my birthday back in September. And I literally love it. It's from Pretty Little Thing. Um, it's just this cream teddy coat with tortoiseshell buttons. It goes just past the knee, if you can tell. Um, so really, really cosy. It is so warm like literally like it's like a sauna in a coat if that's even possible um but i love this it is obviously it's obviously that teddy material so we love that love this coat i think it's so warm goes with so many things and where it's so oversized like inside you can fit like big jumpers on like oh, this jumper is really really thick and there's still room so you could wear like an extra layer just to keep you warm but if you do want a really really warm coat this is your one um i will link it below i cannot remember for the life of me how much it was um because like i said i did get it for my birthday so i cannot remember but yeah it's just really cute really cozy you could do it up which actually still looks pretty cute you could have it open i think i prefer it open but obviously if it gets cold can just do it up um but yeah so i absolutely love this one is this leather jacket a vibe or is this a vibe i don't think i would wear this with black i think i'd wear it with like pastel colors or like white cream um i've actually when did i get this it was during the first lockdown but i don't remember when maybe like may april sort of time um, I got it in the sale from Miss Guided and I literally love this jacket. I've always, always, always wanted a cream leather jacket. But yeah, I wouldn't really wear it with black. I've never worn it with black before. I've always, like I said, worn it with cream or white or a lighter colour. But the black, I just don't think it looks like a vibe. So yeah, but this is a size 8 and it is really oversized. I literally love it. Um, it's got cute little buckle details obviously got the shoulder pads not shoulder pads i don't know what these are called charlie we know that they're called i can't remember but it's got the lapels charlie i hope you're proud of me charlie does fashion by the way that's how he knows all these things but i learned that these are called lapels so you know fashion queen coming at you it comes just above um your bum so you know quite cute it covers that awkward area which i like um, so it's really really flattering but yeah this is another one of my favourites um, it's actually a bit too cold to wear this because it doesn't keep me obviously as warm um, as these do but for like spring summer this is a really really good little piece can I please get a round of applause because we are halfway through of my coat video just to give you guys some coat inspiration and this is one of my favorite oh i'm saying this on every single coat but literally one of my favorite like staple coats and it's from zara last year but they do a coat like this every single year um so you can definitely get hold of one but it's just got this gorgeous black fur hood it is obviously a black puffer jacket but it's not oversized because this is a sort of coat that I'd wear to like full park or something that's really cute with like leather trousers just kind of dress it up a bit because I feel like sometimes if it's too oversized it can just look a little bit more sort of on the casual side but this you can dress up a little bit and the thing I love about this coat is it actually shapes you really nicely so when you do it up you pull these little toggles I don't know if you guys can tell but it sort of gives you more of an hourglass look but like since she's in at the waist which most coats I find do not do they make you look a little bit you know square um but this one is lovely so I love this coat this literally is my thought part coat and to be fair I actually wear this coat all the time so I love this one it's one of my favorites shiny puffer and I I do think this was a little bit 
on the pricier side. I think from memory it was about £60, £60, £70. But I got it obviously last year in October. Um, and I have always wanted a coat like this. And it has lasted me so well already. Like There's no like, wear and tear or anything like that. Um, it's just a really lovely coat but like i said that's from zara and if you go in and just type in like um black puffer jacket they'll probably still be on there um if not i'll link similar but i just love a coat like that i feel like it gives me montclair vibes you know because i would love a montclair coat but you know the bank doesn't stretch that far okay so this is the black version of the first coat from primark Again from Primark, um, again I got this last year, I basically got the uh, nude one first and then I went back and got the black one just because it's one of those coats that just goes with everything, you can just chuck it on um, and it just looks nice and it's so, so warm. I literally, oh, found some receipts. Don't just love, obviously this didn't just happen to me, but when you've got pockets and you find like a £5 note in there and you're like... Marlin. Just literally exactly the same as this, but in black. It's got the nice little, it's really hard to see, but like the material, I don't know what this is called. It's not teddy, but it feels like teddy, but it's definitely not, because it's slightly different. It's not soft. Nothing really else to say about it. Like I said, it's just the same as this one. Um, but it is really, really warm. And I also got the same, this same one in a 10, which I think is a medium at Primark. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it could be a small, but I can't remember. Um, I love this coat so much. It is so me. I got it from Misguided um, last December. So what's that, like 11 months ago. Um, but I have seen it on there since. Because it's one of their coats that they do most years. Um, but I really, really love this coat. That's the back. It's just like a... Would you call that stripy? I guess you would. Um, grey and white and I just love this with like a black outfit, black leather trousers, little black boots um, I wore this to Winter Wonderland last year and it was just so warm and it comes just between your knee and um, your, what do you call this, hips so a nice length um, and I feel like it's just one of those coats that's like you just wrap up, you get cosy Go for a nice little roast dinner, you know. Um, it's that kind of vibe. But, yeah. Love this coat. Got it in a size 10, so it's nice and oversized. Right, now is the time for the piece de resistance. I'm really, really sorry about this angle. It's so unflattering. But, this coat needs an entrance. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. This is my pink marshmallow coat. Slash Flamingo, slash Queen, slash Very Me. Um, if I was a coat, it, this would be it. Um, this is my beautiful favourite coat in my whole wardrobe. Probably one of the favourite actual pieces of clothing in my wardrobe. Um, I'm obsessed with this coat. Like this, literally, I will go out in this coat and I will have at least five people say to me and this is not a joke oh my god where is your coat from let me tell you this is from so monroe on instagram but hate to be the bearer of bad news I think this is actually like out of stock completely um but double check but I'll leave their website below um because I know that they have it in black and grey maybe um but it's really 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 soft coat and i just i just love it i love fair coats like this it's not real it's faux fur it's so soft it's baby pink and i just love it you know it's like a real me coat and charlie does call me a marshmallow when i wear this because i do feel like a little bit like a marshmallow it comes to about here so just kind of on the bum it's not above the bum it's not below the bum it's kind of on the bum but yeah this is my favorite piece i probably ever owned and i will never get rid of this even if one day i outgrow it or it gets a bit rotten 
um like here it's actually come apart a little bit but charlie's gonna sew that for me he doesn't know it yet but he's gonna sew it for me i love this coat so much and of course we had to end on this coat because it's just too fabulous not to and it's cute with the pink scrunchie i literally went out in this on Tuesday and I had so many people saying oh my god where's your coat from oh my god where's your coat from a girl from KFC asking me where's my coat from it's from So Monroe they do such nice stuff so look at their website just for anything um I sounded so SXN just for anything love this coat so much just feel like I could do a little catwalk so guys that is the end of this video I really really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you liked seeing just a small little piece of my coat selection because I do love a good coat and um, the good thing about coats is they last you ages so that's why I love them um, and also they are so cozy like little walking blankets I look so cozy right now so yeah that is the end of the video like I said hope you guys enjoyed it I will try my hardest to link everything below but if I really can't find it I'll try a similar or if I really really can't even find that you'll just have to forgive me i will see you guys on tuesday for another video i was gonna say wednesday but it's actually tuesday because you've got three i don't know why i'm doing this three uploads this week and same with next week just because i've got so many christmas videos i just want to share with you all i will see you then i love you all so much thank you so much for watching bye